Hi, I am Aliza Tanvir from Skillcurve. The main advantage of using the index view is that it helps to improve the query performance because if we have a query having a lot of joins and subqueries and different functions, an index view can combine all of those tables into a single result set in the form of a view and the user or application that needs to get this data can just query the index view itself rather than querying all the individual tables separately. Let's move towards how to create an index view in SQL. For that, I am going to use this query. Here, once again, I'll use the create view statement and with it, I am going to define the name of the view. But there is a difference in naming the view in simple view and index view. In simple view, you can give any name to your view. But in case of index view, you have to follow a two format naming convention where the first part has to be the schema name and the second part must contain the table name which is the first table inside the select statement. You can see that in my query I am using three different tables but the first table which is the owner's table has to be inside the table name in the view. Okay then after that I am using the with schema binding. The with schema binding allows us to stop accessing the tables and changing the data present inside the tables from which the view is created. Okay so after that inside the select statement I am selecting the record from the tables where the procedure type is orthopedic and I am going to select different columns from the pet tables, owner tables and procedure history. Execute your query and you will see that your view has been created. Now just like we can query our tables, we can also query our views which is also a temporary table. So I am going to query my view in which I am simply going to select all the records from the view in order to display them. And once I write the query, I am going to execute it and upon executing you will see that the rows selected from the select statement have been present inside a created view. Before we move towards how to improve the query performance, there are two things that we need to do. First, we will turn on the statistics IO option. This will, among other things, return the number of logical and physical reads needed to complete the query. Execute your query and you will see that your statistics IO option will be enabled. Then we will enable the actual execution plan option from here so that we can see what happens behind the scenes when we query the view. Now let's query the view again and upon executing you will see a new tab showing the execution plan. Click on it and you will see that upon execution of our select query we are actually going towards three different columns which are pets, owners and procedure history. So one query corresponds to three tables. Let's move towards some messages and it is going to show me that for the table pet we have lo two logical reads and zero physical reads. For the table owner we have two logical reads and zero physical reads and the for procedure history we have 20 logical reads and zero physical reads. Okay, so this is how you can use the execution plan to view the query. Let's go ahead and create a unique clustered index on the pet ID and the owner ID columns of the view. Okay, so here I am going to create a clustered view on the view that we just created and we are going to select the pet ID and the owner ID columns of the view to create the unique clustered index for the view. Execute it and if you see no errors, it means that your unique clustered index for the view has been successfully created. Now let's query the view again to see the result. Upon executing the query, you will see that there will be no change in the execution plan. Again this time the select statement will move towards the three tables to execute it and then the query cost is still 100% moreover the logical and physical reads for all the three tables is still the same. This is because the query optimizer has not identified a unique cluster key. Move towards the property of your server and you can see that I am working on the developer edition and it is a limitation of the SQL server that for all non-enterprise editions the query optimizer will not automatically detect the unique clustered index. So for all non-enterprise edition we have to force it. So for the non-enterprise edition of the SQL server in order to force the query optimizer to detect our unique clustered index 
we are going to use the no expand keyword with the query now i will simultaneously execute two queries on the view one with no expand and the other without no expand Upon executing the query, you will see that the output for both the views is the same. Now let's move towards the execution plan. Upon moving towards the execution plan, you will see that for the first query that has the no expand keyword with it, it is queuing a single view instead of three different tables. So this shows that the query optimizer has identified a unique clustered index for the first query in which no expand was used. For the second query, you can see that it is still moving towards three different tables in order to execute the select query present inside the view. Let's see another thing. Scroll up and you will see that for the first query, the query cost has reduced to 3% whereas for the second query without the no expand keyword the query cost is 97%. Let's move towards the messages to see the reads and you can see that for the first query there is two logical reads and no physical reads to the view only whereas for the second query again the select statement is moving towards three different tables and for the pet table there is one logical read and zero physical read for the owner table there is two logical reads and zero physical reads and for the procedure history table there are 20 logical reads and zero physical reads okay so this shows that using the unique clustered index has improved the performance of our query when working with the index view so this is how you can use index views in SQL and how you can use the unique clustered index to improve the performance of your query. That is all for this video. Thank you.